Hey everybody, it's Belinda. What should you do if you think you're being discriminated against because of your hair preference? So again, what should you do if you think you're being discriminated against because of your hair preference? Now, that is that question can go in multiple different directions. So do you think they're discriminating against you because of the color of your hair? For example, some people want um, have blue hair or red hair or green hair. And maybe when they go to the interview, they feel like they're being discriminated because of that, showing their expression. Some people um, have gray hair or white hair. And maybe people thinking that, you know, maybe they're, people could be thinking that they're too old to do the job and they're being discriminated that way. Some people could have natural hair like myself. And you could be, people could feel like they're being discriminated because of that as well. So there's a lot of different ways somebody can feel like they're being discriminated against. The color of their hair, blue, green, yellow. You know, people may feel like they're being discriminated because of that. Maybe they have gray hair or white hair and maybe they feel like they're being discriminated because of that. Maybe because of natural hair and they feel like they're being discriminated because of that. What you can say in the interview even before the interview, you can ask, do they have a policy on, on hair? M meaning some companies cannot, you cannot have blue hair or green hair or red hair or any type of non-natural, for lack of a better word, hair color. So some companies do have that in their policy. So if you know that up front before you interview, that can help on that. So if you know that that's their policy and you show up anyway with green hair or yellow hair or not yellow hair, green hair, blue hair, red hair, then you, you already know coming in. But if you're coming in with natural hair, most people don't have that in their policy. Or, you know, if your hair is gray and you're, and you're not dying it or white, you know, if it's gray or white, then you can feel like maybe they're discriminating against me because of my age, which age discrimination is over 40. A lot of people don't, don't know the exact number. They know there's age discrimination, but it's actually over 40 is the age and natural hair. A lot of people now are wearing natural hair. I'm one of them. When I was in college, I remember my teacher saying, braids aren't professional. Natural hair is not professional. And I do remember her telling me that. It was a long time before I went natural myself because that played in my head over and over and over again. But I, you know, have natural hair, I've had it for quite a while now, um, quite a while now, and it has not affected me as far as my work or anything like that, but I know that some people have been discriminated against. I would ask outright, does my hair offend you? You know, if you go into the interview, if it's not previously stated about your hair, you can ask, you know, is there, are we not allowed to have natural hair? And see what they say. Because hair, hair itself is not discrimination, but if they discriminate, discriminate against you, for one of the reasons listed on, on law, like age, um, race, something like that. That's a that's the true definition of discrimination, not necessarily hair preference. So I wanna make sure I'm clear with that, hair preference. So if they discriminate against me because I'm a black woman, that's a discrimination. If they discriminate against me because I'm over 40, that's discrimination. If they discriminate against me because my hair is natural, if they use natural, that's not really um, a discrimination. 